So ladies, this topic may have some people divided, okay? This is pretty big news. Recently in the Bay Area, <clears throat> news anchor Frank Somerville Ooh, is being chill. slammed over the coverage of Gabby Petito. So it seems that Somerville wanted to add a tagline to the segment about the Petito case and point out the disparity in coverage of missing person cases of white women relative to women of color. Mm -hmm. And the disparity has also been pointed out by MSNBC host Joy Reid. While some say there is no problem in mainstream media, others are really upset over the unbalanced coverage when it comes to people of color specifically. Yeah. Now, do you guys feel that the mainstream media provides less coverage to those of color? And if so, why? More importantly, why do you think that is? Because there's a lack of diversity in most mainstream newsrooms. That's right. And that's the reason why. And when we talk about, we're not just talking about black. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Asian, Asian Latinos, immigrants, um, indigenous, Native American, trans. Native yes. American yes. specifically. Yes. yes. So we really have to look at the diversification of newsrooms yeah. because people don't care. But I have to give a shout out to this man. He tried. Yes. Yeah. He, he, tried. he, tried. Yes. he definitely tried. And can I tell you, he has an adopted black daughter. That's yes. what I was going to say. So I wonder that if makes his feel perception more... a little bit more. That's it's exactly... And Joy Reid, we want to give a shout out Absolutely. to Joy Reid. Yes, she got a lot of heat mm -hmm. because, but this is what happens when, when you are a diverse person and you bring something like this, now it's a national conversation. But that's exactly right. what you're saying, Lonnie, is that whoever is coming up with what the news stories are, if they do not relate or yes. identify with that story, yes. they're not going to pick that story up. Yes. Obviously, this yes. man felt strongly, felt strongly about it because it hits home. Right. It hits yes. home. And right. that's my issue with these stories. I think, naturally, oh, the Gabby Petito story, I was so invested in it myself. Now, I came why here. do you think? Because I feel like there was a movement behind her. Why do you think people were so interested? Is it because we had video and we could see interaction right before? There was Besides that. the obvious. Oh. But the other thing that really got me was the fact that the guy just went home and didn't speak. Right. So that, to me, was the thing that I was like, you're allowed to do that? That's There's legal? You could just come home and the girl's right. missing and you can right. choose not to speak? Right. So that was infuriating me. But this is the other thing. I think that it comes off more shocking when something like this happens to what people view as a wholesome, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white girl. Like, how could yeah. how right. could this happen to her? <laughs> right. You understand? Right. So that's the then shocking part. All... Versus you in the hood and you go missing. They're like, what'd you expect? Yeah. And, and I don't like that. And, and it be... also sucks. Go ahead. That, really quick, it just also sucks. You guys, the news that hits the actual news, like mainstream or local news, mm -hmm. it's after most of the time, especially these days, that it's gone viral yes. on our social. Exactly. Yes. So you've got common everyday people who yeah. are pleading, please see this case, yes. please. Absolutely. And finally, when we make enough noise, they're like, you know what, because it's popular and it's what they're talking about, then let's go ahead and cover it. Exactly. Not because they genuinely care about yeah. this needing person. I believe even stories like Ahmaud Aubrey, we only heard that on the mainstream right. news because there's this video that went viral that was shocking for us to see yeah. when that had been going on for years you and years it. before that. Oh, how get about murdered. Yes. I yes. actually watched an entire Dateline speaking specifically about Native American women that go missing and how no one cares. And there's actually different laws and regulations because I believe they have the only their own police department. There's probably yes. another word for it. Right. On reservations. So a lot of things just get swept they're under. Sovereign. the rug. They're yeah. Sovereign. So there's so many, exactly. So there's so many things there that we definitely have to put, pay more attention I to. I believe in solutions. Yeah. Yeah. And I what think, do you think that we are developing solutions because if the news media doesn't want to do this, we have websites. Power the people. Yeah. We right. have power the people. Right yep. now you have our black girls, which is a wonderful database mm -hmm. created by a journalist oh. mm -hmm. that has a list. There are over one hundred thousand women of color that are missing. missing. Go to our black girls, go to the um um, NAMAS, mm -hmm. which is the, the information clearinghouse. Yeah. So there are things that are changing where yeah. there are databases, where you can find people, yeah. where you can see people. And, you know, even the whole thing with Kelly Price, that whole thing that oh happened this weekend. Oh, my God. That was putting like, her on the national yeah. list. The thing yeah. is, at least, TMC. if we know about it, yes. then we can do something about That's it. Right. It's very yeah. important. With that being said, I want to bring awareness to two people. An Asian woman from New Jersey by the mm. name of Lauren Cho went missing. Please look into her story. Also, you have uh, Maya Marcano, who uh, just went missing, a 19-year-old girl from Orlando. She was actually supposed to get on a flight and never did. And these are stories that we only hear about yeah. on social yep. media, and they yeah. never right. make it to right. the mainstream media. So please, you guys, look into these stories and see if there's anything you could do to help bring awareness.